Today, the University of Texas released a new study examining why teenage pregnancy rates remain high in Travis County. The report found a big part of the problem can be tied to a lack of communication. KXAN's David Scott looks at the costs this could have on everyone. Communication between parents and children around sexuality isn't always what we'd like to see. It isn't very open, uh, honest, or often. And several parents joked that they feel like their teens know more than them around what's happening today. The study found parents and teenagers want to talk more about sex, but they need more information and less embarrassment. Despite gains the past two decades, Texas and Travis County teen pregnancies remain two to three times above the national average. Four in five of those pregnancies come as a big surprise. Most of the young parents that we interviewed were surprised by their pregnancies. Many of them talked about how they didn't think it could happen to them. They thought it only happened to stupid people. The United Way is now launching a year-long study to determine if it should join a pilot program using private money to preach prevention. The idea is government money alone is not getting it done. And after all, we're an innovative city. We have such a you know, rich wealth of capital here, and we have such smart and successful people. And I love the idea of putting that brain power to good use to get ahead of some of the problems that are holding us back as a community. Ultimately, experts say the solutions still come back to just say no. And if you say yes, well, protect yourself. David Scott, KXAN News. A recent report outlines the problem in Travis County specifically. According to the Women's Fund of Central Texas, out of every 1,000 teenage girls in Travis County, 49 will become pregnant. That is a higher rate than is across the state and nearly double the rate across the U.S. We have also learned two-thirds of teenage moms will require public assistance in the first year after their child is born. And the cost to Texas taxpayers is $1.1 billion.